Dear colleagues, this surgery has been done and recorded to teach the steps of phacomalsification of the cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision. It's a 2.8 millimeter incision. In this case, we are going to do only one sideboard. This is the sideboard three clock hours away from the main incision. Yes, if the sideboard is three clock hours, that is 90 degree away from the main incision, the astigmatism induced by the main incision is reduced to some extent by the sideboard. And now this is tripan blue dye. It has been used to stain the anterior capsule. Little bit of adrenaline has been used, and now the dye is washed out. Now, viscoelastic substance that is being used in this case is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Here goes the viscoelastic substance. The viscoelastic substance has been sprayed over the corneal epithelium to protect the epithelium as well as for better visualization. Now see how I'm going to do capsulorexis. The 26 case band needle is introduced through the main incision. Anticapsule is cut and a nice flap is raised. Take you to the forceps, hold this flap and I remain at a certain equal distance from the margin of the people and thus I complete the rexis. While using uterta forceps, an upward thrust is kept on the anterior lip of the main wound and leakage of viscoelastic substance is prevented. This is hydro dissection. See the fluid went to the other side. Now this is hydro delineation and it has produced a golden ring and this golden ring separates the nucleus from the epinucleus. Viscoelastic substance is injected again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. Here it is. The machine being used is Oatly Catrix 3 FACO machine. It's a beautiful machine, no financial interest but if you use this machine, you will love this machine. Now, this is direct job. Bury the teeth into the substance of the nucleus, hold the nucleus firmly, and chop it like this. And separate the pieces. So the nucleus has been divided into two halves. Now each half is again held with vacuum, and it is chopped. This is the other hemineucleus. It is also divided into two pieces. And thus, we have divided the nucleus into four fragments. And each fragment is now emulsified with ultrasonic energy. And it is removed. And it takes very little time to do this. We must keep an eye on the anterior chamber depth. There should not be any shallowing of the anterior chamber. There should not be any search. This is the epinucleus being removed. FACO is fun. FACO is fast. FACO is beautiful. Now viscoelastic substance is injected again. Since there is only one side port, we have to use a quick shell IA or this very simple instrument, beautiful instrument, Simco cannula. It's very safe. It keeps very good control of the anterior chamber depth because the control is in your hand. And now this is the cortical matter at sub-incisional area it is being removed yes so the cortex has been removed and now little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done I take the irrigating probe 
and the irrigating jet of fluid is swept over the posterior capsule and the cells sticking to the posterior capsule are dislodged and now you can see some cortical matter at around 12 o'clock just on the left side of the main incision and here it is to remove this cortical matter if I use the Simco cannula without using some viscoelastic substance antechamber will be very shallow so I use some viscoelastic substance inject some viscoelastic substance in the capsular bag and in the antechamber and now I use the Simco cannula to remove this cortical matter yes this viscoelastic substance has kept the antechamber formed and endothelium protected every time at every step please keep the antechamber formed work at a respectable distance from the corneal endothelium respect the corneal endothelium more than you respect posterior capsule because if there is damage or rent of the posterior capsule you can manage but if there is corneal damage you have to depend on a donor tissue and this is IOL implantation under irrigation irrigation keeps the antechamber formed and the IOL is implanted since there is no viscoelastic substance or very little viscoelastic substance the time to remove the visco if it were used has been set and now the side port is stroma of the side port is hydrated stroma on either side of this stab incision is hydrated and this stab incision closes becomes watertight and see this is the final lavage and the whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium will come out here it is. You could see that the visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium came out. I was a respectable distance away from the corneal endothelium. That's it. The case is done. Thank you very much. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you very much for your attention.